Compression can be a tricky concept to grasp, but it really is quite simple. What's not simple is hearing it and understanding how to use it properly. Just like anything else related to mixing and music production, it's completely up to taste. Some people like overcompressed or squashed vocals and swear by it. Others prefer a lighter touch. It also depends on the genre, just like everything else. Like pop vocals are generally more in your face and compressed. The best way I can think of to explain compression is that it's a way to automatically turn things down. It's really all there is to it. Once the signal reaches a certain threshold of decibels, the compressor will activate and turn down the signal based on the ratio that you specify. So look, if there's no ratio, it's not going to compress at all. If I start to add that, it'll compress. But if I lower the threshold, it'll start to compress at a quieter moment. So like if I have it up here, it's not going to compress because it's at 0 dB. But if I go down to the 20, it'll start compressing once the signal reaches 20 dB. Negative 20, excuse me. And then the makeup gain is gain that's added after it's turned down. So it, it reaches a certain threshold. It is compressed by a certain ratio. And then you can then boost the gain back up. So what this essentially does is it makes the loudest parts of the sound quieter and makes the quiet parts of the sound louder. The attack time is the amount of time it takes for the compressor to activate after it reaches the threshold. So if you don't want the transients of a snare drum, like the if you don't want to compress that part, you just want to compress the parts after it, you'll do a slow attack time so that it doesn't compress that initial transient. But if you want it to compress it a little bit, maybe do a you know medium medium attack time. And then the release is how soon after the signal goes back below that threshold does the compressor stop working. So let's say the signal is up here, it's, it's activated, and then it goes down. Okay, now the release time clock starts. So if you have a really slow release time, it'll be compressing all the time. If you have a really fast release time, it will compress once it's at the threshold, and then once it goes back down, it'll stop compressing. The attack and release are a bit tricky to comprehend, but the most important things are threshold ratio and the makeup gain. Although the knee, as you can see, also plays a factor in the shape of the compression. Like, if I have a soft knee, it's going to be smoother than a hard knee at that point. Uh, okay. There's also different ways to view the compression, so the amount of gain reduction in this meter versus just seeing it visually on this graph. And then there's also other types of compressors, which you don't need to worry about right now, but I'll show you examples of what those sound like. Okay, so in order to show you the magic of compression, I'm going to record this in an interesting way. Right now I'm very close to the microphone, and then I'm going to back up slowly so you can hear how, but I'm not going to change my volume very much, so you can hear how interesting way. Right now I'm very close to the microphone, and then I'm going to back up slowly so you can hear how, but I'm not going to change my volume very much. They're not always going to be right, right close to the mic. They're going to be backing up, and even if they're not singing louder, because they're not always going to be right, right close to the mic. They're going to be backing up, and even if they're not singing louder, because if proper microphone technique would be to get louder as you back up so that it matches, but not everyone does that. So compression is one way to fix that issue, but also just to make the performance sound more balanced. And, and then I'm going to back up slowly so you can hear closer to the mic, because sometimes when your artist is singing closer to the mic, because sometimes when your artist is singing closer to the mic, because sometimes when your artist is singing closer to the mic, because sometimes when your artist is singing closer to the mic, because sometimes when your artist is singing closer to the mic, because sometimes when your artist is singing closer to the mic, because sometimes when your artist is singing or if you're singing. All right, so this comes from a track called Imposter. I'm going to show you the compression settings I have on the main vocals as well as the vocal bus for the main vocals and the doubles. So these two analog modeled plugins, the 
LA 2A and the 76 are on the main vocal channel. And then this SSL G bus compressor is on the bus. Yeah, way back before I looked from Eminem, hated rapping that bum crook Eminem. Took another listen, took ten of them, then another listen, hooked in. I was into the sin, never heard language the same way again. Had to twist every word, every sentence I penned, had to spit. But here, how that kind of like pushes it forward into the. Yeah, way back before I looked from Eminem, hated rapping that bum crook Eminem. Took another listen, took ten of them, then Sets another the listen, right in front of them. was into the sin, never. Yeah, way back before I looked feminine, hated rapping that bum crook Eminem. Took another listen, took ten of them, then another listen, hooked in. I was into the sin, never heard language the same way again. Had to twist every word, every sentence I penned, had to spit. And that SSL compressor, it also it glues the doubles with the main vocal, but it also puts the entire main vocal bus ahead in the mix. About an hour when I text lady friends, always ended up going in a way in the end. Uh, just when I felt I way back before I looked feminine, hated rapping that bum crook to Eminem. Took another listen, she took ten of them, then another listen, hooked in, I was into the sin, never heard like was the same way I get. Yeah, way back before I looked feminine, hated rapping that bum crook Eminem. Took it way back before I looked feminine, hated rapping that bum crook Eminem. Took another. There you go. All right, so this is going to be the drum bus compression from the same song. So what this compressor is doing is not only blending the drum sounds together so it sounds like the same thing, but it's also making it sound louder even though it's only boosting it by about 1 dB. So look, look for that. When I text lady friends, I was ended up throwing it away in the end. Uh, sin never heard language the same way again. Had to twist every word, every sentence I penned. Had to spend about an hour when I text lady friends. Always ends up throwing it away in the end. Uh, sin never heard language the same way again. Had to twist every word, every sentence I penned. Had to spend about an hour when I text lady friends. Always ended up throwing it away. 